Hello, welcome to this little video. My name is Dino and today I'm going to show you how you can install FTL Hyperspace or FTL Multiverse on your Mac. And maybe some of you have seen the previous video, which was pretty all right, some people said. Um, I got some positive feedback, also some negative because people didn't understand stuff. But in general, I think the video was pretty all right, but there was one minor uh, mistake added in the video and that's also one of the reasons why I'm remaking or re-recording this thing and the other reason is simply because something has changed in the install instructions which makes the entire process faster and easier and I want to record all of it again because a smooth video is better than one where one half is outdated. Um, all right, before we can start with setting everything up and installing FTL, you should just go down to setting up wrapper and installing FTL. Yeah, I just said we are not going to do this at first, but we need to download a few things. And these are the highlighted texts here. Just press uh, right, uh, right click on them and press open link in new tab on each of them. And you'll get these few tabs. The first one should be Dino's Hyperspace Wrapper for Mac. Just go down to the DMG file. The version may change in the future, so don't be confused. Maybe it's 1.4, maybe it's 2.1. I don't know, just download the latest one. Next, you should go to FTL Hyperspace and download the FTL Hyperspace 1.9 zip. It's also going to change in the future because Hyperspace gets many updates over time. And the last tab is this Mediafire thing. This may change in the future because this is just a temporary version of Slipstream. When Slipstream is going to be updated, all stuff is going to be in the main version, but this is not going to be much different. You'll probably have another download button here, maybe on another website, but it's going to be pretty similar. Just press download on all these things. I already have all files saved and now we can start with the install instructions. Um, you should go to your downloads folder. And I, as I said, I already have the files here. Just double click on the uh, DMG file for Dino's, Dino's hyperspace wrapper. And you'll have this little window, uh, window. And yeah, that's the application. You should not run it from inside here. Um, I recommend putting it into the programs folder. You can also put it in documents or wherever you like, but because I already have mine set up in here, I don't want to do it again or change any stuff. So I'm going to put it on my desktop. You can also put it on your desktop if you want. It doesn't really matter. The application runs fine from everywhere on your Mac, but I recommend putting it into programs because then you can also launch it from the launch pad. Um, the next step would simply be double clicking on the application, which did not work for some reason. And then you'll see this window. It says that it can't be opened because the developer can't be verified. This is caused by some stuff with macOS. Normally you need to sign an application you make and this costs money. I think 100 euros or dollars a year. Um, I cannot afford that because I'm still a student. I don't have work yet. So you can just press abort, right click and press open. Now you have this window again and just press open this time and the things should start. It will tell you game files are missing, FTL files seem to be missing, just press OK. And here comes the relevant part. If you own FTL on Steam, press yes. If you don't, you obviously should press no, but that would be not much difference. But if you have it on GOG, this part will not work for you. Just press yes, and it will ask if you want to auto download. Also press yes again. And now you need to wait a second. Steam is starting and Steam is relatively slow, I say. But yeah, here we are. No, I don't want to see my friends right now. 
and just copy this command download depot and these strange numbers paste them in here if you don't know how you copy and paste with your keyboard it's control uh, command c for copy and command p for pasting just press enter and now you'll need to wait a second all right the thing is downloaded now you can just press ok um, it will open the folder whoops uh, where is it ah here these are the windows ftl files um, just i'm just moving it on my second monitor for a second um, now it asks if you want to open the ftl folder press yes again and you'll have this folder drop ftl here it's pretty much what the title says you should select these files move them in now go back to your downloads and find ftl hyperspace open it and go to windows and move in these files as well and that's pretty much everything uh, everything done now um, the next step would be to install the mods which i'm going to do now as well i'm just moving the windows on the other monitor again one second slipstream mod manager if you have this file downloaded just double click it if you don't go back to the github and get it it should give you this folder called slipstream mod manager 1.9.1 .1 unix maybe in the future it's called different it doesn't really matter just open it and go to the mods folder you see these files in here you don't need them throw them away yep now go back to the downloads folder and find the ftl hyperspace folder again and move in hyperspace.ftl maybe in the future you want to get base hyperspace running i don't know just have it in there in case you need it at some point and now we need to download ftl multiverse um, i need to scroll down for a second here there's the uh, part called fret it's highlighted in blue just press on it or open the link in a new tab and you will be sent here if you're not here directly just um, go and search for download raw files and get the asset and data file it's pretty simple you'll have this google drive um, tab yeah and just press download and download again here this one where it doesn't preview the files um, is a bit is a step further just press download anyways so after you have downloaded them you should go back to your downloads folder and you have these files now i think i accidentally closed one folder no here here's the mods folder and select them move them over and that's everything done for now if you want to put in any add-ons you can do it as well it's not different than installing any other mods but the next step would be right clicking the modmin.command file press open because else it won't open like the the wrapper i made just press open here and you'll see this window maybe also a command window but that just opened on my other monitor so you are not seeing it right now um, ftl resources were found in user dino library blah 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 this is incorrect press no it will prompt you to locate the files yourself in my case i put it um, onto the desktop which is down here somewhere here but for many people it will be in their programs folder which is under users uh, wait not users macintosh hd or your drive just make sure to seek the search the symbol and go down to applications it's on the top and find the wrapper here that's where my actual wrapper installation is and where it's probably going to be for you make sure to select it here i have it on my desktop right now 
you probably won't do uh, won't have it there and simply select dinos hyperspace wrapper make sure yours is in the programs folder up here mine is in the desktop press open this yes it was maybe installed uh, from steam but press no because this will just mess up some things and shouldn't be done you can press yes but i doubt this version works for me but normally you should press yes because updates are useful and now you'll have this you may see there's only hyperspace which may look a bit odd to you um, you actually have the multiverse files in here but why aren't they here that's pretty simple slipstream doesn't recognize zip files from uh, default. I don't know why that was done, but it's a fact. Go to preferences, press allow zip, hit apply, go to file, rescan mods, and make sure they are in this order. Now just select multiverse assets and data and press patch. And it's done for me. You can press yes, um, which I'm going to do. And the wrapper should start. And when you start it, you should see this window and it says detected non-downgraded hyperspace instance starting downgrading process. Maybe you don't understand what it is, but it's simply something to get the mods running internally. Just ignore it. If you don't understand, press OK. And you'll see this console. Maybe it looks weird to you. Just ignore it, press enter and it will go away. And now it says downgrading was successful. FTL is now downgraded and should load with hyperspace. Press OK. And FTL should start in a second. And here we are. Here's FTL Multiverse. This uh, one thing to note, it will take um, a pretty long time on M1 or M2. In general, Apple Silicon Max. It's also down here at known issues. Longer loading times on Apple Silicon Max caused by Rosetta translation. And now you can just press English. Don't select any other languages. It's going to mess up a few things. And here we are. That's FTL Multiverse on your Mac. Um, normally I would press new game now because, uh, but I have a safe running right now and I'm not going to ruin it just for this video, but if you are in the main menu, everything has worked. I'm going to quit now. If you have any issues, um, some uh, if you somehow couldn't run anything of it or some stuff didn't appear or didn't go like I said in the video, you can scroll down to troubleshooting and here are listed a few common issues that some other people have experienced before, which I have managed to fix. Maybe it helps you. But if it doesn't, you can also go to the FTL Multiverse Discord. I have a channel there for Mac support. And you can ask me questions like if something goes wrong for you and you don't know what it's causing. Um, just ask it here. If you have any other questions, maybe not even for help, just for interest, um, why I did this on, or something, go here as well and feel free to ask them. Um, other reasons why you should join, join the Discord. Maybe you want to start making your own mods. Maybe you want to download some add-ons. Maybe you just want a good and big FTL community. Then you can just go in here. So I think that's all. Um, I hope the video has helped you. And I'm sorry once again for my accent. I hope, uh, hope every... I hope everyone understood what I was saying and I'm sorry for some stuttering or when I mispronounced some words, um, but I got some positive feedback, which is always surprising. And I hope you liked my German accent as well. Some people did. Personally, I still hate it, but I hope this video was helpful for you. Have a good day and have much fun playing FTL Multiverse or any of your other mods you just installed. And goodbye.